intestinal malrotation when I was born. And then later on, I was also diagnosed with end-stage liver disease. And then I just got kind of worse from there. And they kind of wanted to pull the plug, but <laughs> she didn't let them. And I guess I got lots of blood transfusions and all of that. And then my parents discovered the transplantation organizations and all of that to get me a transplant. It was very unexpected. It was a perfect pregnancy, no issues whatsoever. And then she was born and just threw up and threw up and they said, we think she has a little blockage and came out and said, we removed 90% of her intestines. Then they put a line in and over the course of the next year, she was literally dying of end-stage liver disease. And it's so funny, I've never thought about the synergy between the New York Organ Donor Network or donor organ donors donation and the blood center, which in reality, that's what saved her life. I mean, the amount of blood plasma, the platelets, was unbelievable and it was daily. So without organizations like this, she wouldn't be here. It's just as, as much as the organs themselves. So yeah. we're very happy. The people who are doing this, like they really, really make a difference and that they're really doing something wonderful for the world and many people that they save that they probably don't even know and I think it's just really wonderful. And they're changing lives like this one. And I think really at the end of the day, we just want to say thank you. 20 million New York area residents are supported by the services and research provided by New York Blood Center every day. We take on this challenge proudly, knowing the impact we are making to the lifeline of the community we serve.